Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I've got a tip for you on a technique that I've been using for years in very specific situations, but it can be extremely versatile as well if you want to apply it in a lot more situations. But it's a technique that does not get the attention that I think it deserves. Uh, I think a lot of people are aware of it, but I'm not sure it's been driven home to show how good it actually can be. So I wanna talk about this technique. Before I get into it real quick though, I just wanna remind you to hit that subscriber button, guys. If you haven't done it yet, hit the subscriber button. We got new videos that come out every day. It gets you to enter it into my monthly prize drawing giveaways. So hit the subscriber button. Also, go to therealshot.com. Uh, the link is in my description. You can purchase baits from them. Use the discount code STEFAN10 to save 10% off your order. It helps support the channel. So do your tackle shopping and outdoor shopping and hunting shopping at therealshot.com. Okay, so the technique that I want to talk about today is called the power shot. So what is the power shot? Well, the power shot is basically a drop shot, but it's, it's used on much heavier gear. So you rig it up the same way as your normal drop shot. In this case, though, I've got, you know, a, a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight tied to a uh, heavy, this is a 3 aught EWG style hook. It's actually a flipping hook, so the, the heavier version, the heavy cover. I've got a Berkeley Pit Boss, and I've got, uh, this is 17 pound test, fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon, on a 7.3 medium heavy rod, this is an MHX blank. It's the M, uh, NMB 874. So it's a it's a heavier, you know, uh, medium heavy fast action rod. And I've got a fast retrieve gear ratio Abu Garcia Revo Premier. Uh, this is a seven, what is this? A, I think it's a 7.3 to one. So a faster speed reel. And the whole thing with this setup, guys, is it's not a finesse setup by any means. The power shot is meant to put a drop shot style bait or a drop shot technique into areas that you would not normally put your drop shot, you know, a finesse drop shot. So in this case, for me, it absolutely shines when I'm pitching wood. Uh, you know, I will throw this directly into the middle of the tree clump work it down in there. You can leave it just shaking it right in place. It keeps it suspended off the bottom. It generates a lot of strikes. So that's one of my, my absolute favorite ways to fish it. The other technique or the other uh, pattern that I really like to utilize a power shot on is when I'm flipping grass. If I'm punching milfoil or thick uh, hydrilla, I can use a heavier weight, get it down through there. It falls down perfectly through the grass and then I can suspend my bait and shake it in place off the bottom down inside the grass clumps. And that for me is an absolutely killer technique up here in the North Country. I can't say I've had a ton of, uh, I haven't done it a ton down South, but up here in the milfoil, it is a killer technique. I do want to stress though, a couple of things. When choosing your drop shot weight, I personally think you want to use a cylinder style weight versus a ball uh, a ball style drop shot weight. And the reason for that is simply that will punch down into the weeds or into the wood much better than a round ball will, but it comes out much easier too. You will not get nearly as snagged with a cylinder as you will a ball. You know, if you're punching into grass, that ball will get a clob of grass on it every time. So I highly recommend the cylinder. I also highly recommend tying your line to your drop shot weight because you are gonna be putting it into positions where a lot of times you're gonna be pulling on your weight to get it out of there. And if you don't tie the weight on directly to the line, you're gonna lose a lot of weights that you probably didn't need to lose. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. I do wanna stress that one of the best things about this technique and one of the, the, the other times that I love to do it is when I'm fishing in, in a, an area that has a silty bottom. Like personally, I don't think that bass like to bite baits off the bottom as much on a silty bottom. Like I feel like when they suck in that bait, you get that big cloud of silt and I just feel like they don't like doing that as much. So I prefer to get my bait off the bottom a little bit. But a lot of times when you're fishing in those silty bottom areas, you're talking about areas that are off colored or muddy type, uh, muddy type water color. And 
Because of that, there's really no need to go with a finesse presentation, which is why I will go with the power shot. It's just a way to allow me to present my bait, to keep it off the bottom, which I think the fish prefer, and still use my heavier equipment. And I, you know, in those situations when you don't need to use the finesse because the water's dirty and you're, you know, pitch, pitching into heavier, uh, heavier cover, there's no reason to to want to use a finesse application. So, I will go with the power shot. Like this is this is a rig that I have, I have pretty much all the all the time in my boat. I've almost always got this rod or another rod rigged and ready to go with a power shot, so that when I find those specific instances where I want to pitch a bait into a big, you know, lay down tree that's got branches everywhere, I can pull this out. And I'm not afraid at all to rig it up on braid, straight braid across the whole thing. It works great doing that as well. So guys, give it a try. If you're a big fan of a drop shot, you need to start using a power shot, rig up some heavier tackle and go throw it into the gnarliest stuff out there. And I think you'll find that you're getting a lot of bites on the power shot. Uh, really simple technique. It's, you know, it's the same as a drop shot, only heavier gear allows you to use your bait casting rods, bigger rods, and you can pull the fish out of areas that you wouldn't normally throw your finesse drop shots. So guys, give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you've been doing it for a while and you like it or dislike it, leave it in the comment sections. Let us all know what you guys think about it. Uh, and if you've got specific baits that you really like to use on the on the power shot, leave that as well in the comment section so that other people can uh, learn from what you guys have had success with. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. New tips and tricks come out on a daily basis and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's.